Bedford. Police say the man who allegedly shot and killed a Spokane businessman was not working alone. Yesterday, Spokane police arrested 33-year-old Robbie Joe Wearer on a second-degree murder charge. Kicks of Y4's Jeff Humphrey broke the story this morning on his Twitter account, and Jeff, police think Wearer is the getaway driver. And likely did nothing more than provide transportation to the killer the night that Mr. Carlisle was ambushed here. However, because of Washington's felony murder rule, even the getaway driver can face the same charge as the man who pulled the trigger. The same night Doug Carlisle was shot to death inside his Spokane home, alert neighbors told police about a mysterious cargo van seen parked on nearby Rockwood Boulevard. When TV news reports showed images of the wanted white Chevy, Robbie Joe Wearer allegedly told a friend he was the man behind the wheel. At this point, we believe he was the so-called getaway driver of that night and not involved in the actual homicide at the home. Ware told a different confidential informant that he only agreed to work as the getaway driver because murder suspect Tim Suko told him the job only involved breaking Doug Carlisle's knees. Detectives say cell phone tower records put Ware's cell phone in that neighborhood the night that Mr. Carlisle was killed. Uh, cell phones are designed where there's three sides to a cell phone and we can use that triangulation to identify who was using their phone within that area. So in a general sense, that's how we identify him being in that area. Court records show just five days after Carlisle was killed, Tim Suko bailed Ware out of jail for selling meth to undercover detectives. It appears that Suko didn't want his alleged wheelman talking to police about what he knew about the Carlisle killing. And so now that Ware is in custody and needs a million dollar bond to get out of jail, it is likely he is talking to detectives. Investigators have yet to arrest James Hendrickson. He is the North Dakota man and the alleged architect of this murder for hire scheme. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXY4.